G'day guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be looking at the VOR and TACAN course holds for the autopilot. Let's get into it. Okay, we're over southeastern Iran. We have Bandar Ijask's TACAN station programmed into our TACAN control box. We're currently flying west, vaguely towards Kassab. And we want to fly a course from Bandar Ijask up to Kesham Island. Now we don't want to have to fly all the way to the south to, f to overfly Bandari Jask. We want to fly west and intercept a course. The course from Bandari Jask to Keshem is 301 degrees. So I'm going to come out to our navigation box and scroll down here until I get to 301. Now we there. There we are. Turn the outer knob up to tack in. And that's created a course line just there on the ADI. This long white one at the top is our plane's course and the yellow one at the bottom is the course line for the tack in station. Now, over here on the IDN we have the tack in direction on the big arrow. And once it gets down here to 121, which is the reverse of 301, well, that means we're going to be flying through that course line. It's going to accelerate time a little bit. We're getting closer, so I'm going to pop it out of time acceleration. Up on the autopilot control panel, we're going to press the R button, which is our course hold button. At the moment it's all red because it cannot see the course line yet. That will gradually change. It will go green but those red arrows will stay red when we're getting closer to the course and when we're actually established on the course or close to established those arrows will go away. Let's speed things up again. Okay so the Takan arrow is getting awfully close to 321. I'm going to slow down with some air brake because I find that the slower you are, the less likely you are to fly right through that course. So I've got the air brake out. I want the speed to drop a fair bit. And in a moment, the course line here should start moving a bit. And I expect that red R up on the autopilot control panel to change to a green light. And as we get closer to the course, those red arrows will go away. There we are. The autopilot's turning us on to the course now that the light's green. It can be a pretty gradual turn. But yeah, that line is coming closer to the centre, which is what we want. When the white line and the yellow line are aligned, that means that we are on the course that we've selected. This is a very long turn, so I'm going to fast forward a little bit until we're close to being on course. The red arrows on the autopilot course hold button have gone out, which means we are now very close to the course line that we've set. We're not at 301 degrees though, the turn's going to continue. We're just passing through the course line now. Sometimes when you turn onto the course it'll overshoot or undershoot a little bit and there'll be a, bit of, a little bit of left and right weaving just as it tries to hold that course line. Here you can see we've overshot that line a little bit and it'll weave back and forth as it gets closer. And it's not too bad, it's not too big a problem. Okay, let's start thinking about VOR autopilot hold. Okay, let's look at Bandar Abbas. I'm going to take this runway heading because I want to fly straight down this runway. 025, okay, I remember that, 025. The VOR station is 117.2, so we'll come back out to our cockpit. We'll plug in our VOR station. Come back out to IDN and hit the RV switch so that the thin needle points to the VOR station. 
and we want that to come around to 025 because that's going to be our course line towards it. Okay, so we're expecting to be well, we're going there. We want to be in 025 all that way in. We're going to be somewhere around here when we begin our turn onto 025. I'm going to fast forward things until we get a little bit closer. Okay, we're rapidly approaching Kesham Island. So we're getting into that area where we need to start thinking about changing course. So I'm going to disable my course hold at the moment. We're going to continue just flying this heading. The red flashing means that it's no longer holding course. I need to come down here and change my course to 025 because that's the course we're using to overfly that station at. And I need to switch the outer knob down to ILS. Now, note that you need to be in ILS for this to work. The OR seems to do nothing at the moment. I don't know if that's intended or not. We come back to our autopilot panel and activate our course hold. And you can see that we're quite a long way off course at the moment. That's not a big deal. That'll change as we get closer. Okay, we're going pretty fast. We're doing over 400 knots, so I'm going to slow down a little bit. It's always easier to intercept a course when you're a bit slower. Now that course line's moving a little bit. Yep, there we go. We've got green light. So we're turning on to the course. So intercepting these courses, it seems to be a lot easier if you're slower and you're intercepting them at smaller angles. If you're too fast or the angle that you're intercepting it at is too great, you'll just fly right through that very narrow range where the course autopilot will become active. There we are. Okay, turning more aggressively onto course. I might jump ahead a little bit here, just to speed things up a little bit. Okay, we're back. We're a fair bit closer to Banda Abbas. You can see that we've overshot our course line a little bit, so we're in a bit of a left bank to straighten back up. Let's watch from the F-10 map as we fly over that VOR station and down the runway. As you overfly our station, the course hold can be a little bit funny. I think it really should disengage, but it doesn't seem to at the moment. Oh, this looks pretty good. So there's the VOR station, now we're flying down the runway. I'm pretty happy with that, that's pretty good. The course autopilots also work with TACAN air-to-air -air mode, which makes rejoining a tanker really easy. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed today, and I'll see you on the next one.